first came strong winds and then light rain and snow. Now the cold. Our 10 years reporter Steve Fiorina is in that cold right now in Julian. Uh, but Steve, you've seen people dress for spring rather than winter up there. Well, we've certainly seen some parkas, some gloves, scarves, but also flip flops and other items more suitable for the beach. Not one, not two, but three hardy souls walking the streets of Julian in shorts. There's a heavy chill in the air, but sometimes you have to make a statement, I guess. That seems the case with Thomas Rolliford taking the kids out for a stroll in the sunshine. It's my dad. It's not that cold, but he won't let me wear shorts and a, and a short sleeve. Well, it's because you're not supposed to get sick. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna. I was born in the cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. None of the youngsters would admit to being cold. No, sir. But there's a reason. Because I am a mountain girl. <laughs> Dad wears his shorts proudly. I'm used to it. I've been living up here my whole life now, so. He keeps yeah. the windows open at night. Hey, you need the fresh air at night. <laughs> they were disappointed, though, at the scarcity of snow this time around. My meteorologist friend uh, called it, what do you say, snow stones, snow pebbles, I think. Because it wasn't quite hail and not quite snow. Somewhere in between there, yeah. <laughs> Not quite freezing, but it certainly is cold, and I can't imagine sleeping with the windows open tonight. Live in Julian, Steve Fiorina. I love their attitudes. They're pretty tough. Thanks, Steve.